What if I told you there's something which most of us do three times a day that can entirely make or break our brain health? The choices made during these interludes might either accelerate brain degeneration or enhance your mental capacity. You're probably saying, well, I wanna be on the right side of that equation. You're in luck. And as a double bonus, it's not gonna break the bank either. Today, we're gonna to speak about the tremendous impact that nutrition has on your brain. Hi, I'm Victoria Perez reporting for Brain to Mind. If you've been wanting to eat healthier, here's your sign. We know that food is our source of fuel as gasoline is for a car. And if you wanna be driving a Ferrari, you better put premium in the tank. You may have thought about how food affects our, your body and your energy levels, but have you ever considered what it might be doing for your brain? Or the fact that your brain consumes the lion's share of every meal? Your brain, while only a very small fraction of your body mass, consumes about 20% of your caloric intake, which is a pretty substantial figure. And this number increases when your brain is hard at work doing things like reading or studying or thinking. If you think about it, consuming a 1,120 calorie Big Mac meal from McDonald's feeds your brain at least 224 calories, and that's on the lower end. It definitely doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that feeding the most crucial organ 224 calories of fatty, salty food probably won't do you wonders for the future. Luckily, I'm feeling hungry. So let's make a salad that tastes delicious and fuels our brain in more ways than you could imagine. Let's start with a green base. I opt for spinach, but if kale, lettuce, or arugula are more your speed, that's totally fine too. Spinach is jam-packed with nutrients and vitamins. It's rich in folate, iron, calcium, vita and vitamins E and K. Folate, also known as vitamin B9, is super important to proper neurological functioning and has been clinically found to improve low mood. In one four-year study, researchers found that those who stuck to a diet high in leafy greens, and specifically spinach, had brains seven and a half years younger than their actual calendar age, and they were at a reduced risk for Alzheimer's by a whopping 53%. Spinach is super versatile too and can be prepared in so many different ways. I love a just version of salad, so that's why I chose to do that as my base. Next ingredient we're putting in the salad, onion. I pre-chop these because I'd much rather not cry on camera. Researchers found that people suffering from memory loss who added onions to their diets saw improvements in their ability to recall things. Onions contain a lot of antioxidants, which is something we always want to look for in foods. Antioxidants turn off inflammation in our bodies and in our brain, which prevents deterioration and damage of structures in our body, as well as preventing chronic disease. One of the antioxidants in onions is called onionin A, which cleanses toxic substances from the brain. This antioxidant also slows down the deterioration of memory that's just typically associated with aging. So we're gonna add those into our salad. Up next, we have a little bit of a controversial ingredient, tomatoes. Did you know that Thomas Jefferson was one of the first Virginians to grow tomatoes? Many Americans at the time thought that they, like other plants in the nightshade family, were poisonous and he, qua he caused quite a stir when, as president, he served them in a salad at a White House dinner. You either love them or you hate them. I personally love them and I bet you will too after hearing what they can do for you. Tomatoes contain antioxidants also, one of which is called lysipine, which can help protect neurons from free, free radicals. A free radical is a molecule that, does, that has an unpaired valence electron, so it becomes very reactive, moving around in your body looking for things to bond to, which in turn damages a lot of healthy structures. Lysipine turns this process off, protecting healthy neurons. Lysipine also decreases your risk of stroke and neurodegenerative diseases by reducing oxidative stress and low-grade chronic inflammation in and around neurons. Did that turn you into a tomato believer? Delicious. Next up, avocados, my favorite form of monounsaturated fat. You might be thinking, Aren't fats bad for you? Well, the simple answer is that not all fats are bad for you, and some are actually good and necessary for you. Unfortunately, Wendy's fries don't fall into this category, but avocados do. As I mentioned, avocados are high in monounsaturated fat, which improves blood flow to the brain. 
One study found that those who consumed higher amounts of avocado performed better on memory, language, and problem-solving tasks. So you don't have to tell me twice to add those into my salad. Next up, we're adding cucumber. This refreshing veggie can improve memory and protect neurons from age-related decline. Cucumbers contain anti-inflammatory flavonoid, an anti-inflammatory flavonoid called fisetin, which can reduce free radicals, decrease neuronal inflammation, and increase blood flow to the brain. They also smell and taste delicious. I also just love eating these on their own, dipped in hummus. You can never go wrong with a little cucumber snack. A salad is never ever complete without some cheese. Cheese is delicious and has numerous benefits. The main protein in cheese is called casein, which is broken down into caseomorphin during digestion. Dope, these caseomorphins cross the blood-brain barrier where they attach to dopamine receptors. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter related to feelings of pleasure and reward. Essentially, cheese activates the reward centers of the brain. I'm gonna add some feta into my salad. I just use crumbled feta because it's easier and less messy than feta and brine, but it tastes just as delicious. All right, next we have anchovies. Tiny in size, but packed with omega-3 fatty acids, which are crucial to brain health and to our nervous system. Anchovies contain two types or both types of omega-3, EPA and DHA both of which have different but equally as important roles in our brain. DHA is one of the building blocks of our brain, cerebral cortex, skin, and retina. EPA lowers the bad or the LDL cholesterol inside of our bodies and can help reduce risk of stroke. Scientists also recently discovered that regular consumption of omega-3 fatty acids significantly reduces aggressive behavior. So maybe try downing a few the next time you're feeling riled up. Yep. Anchovies are amazing, all right? I love your brain, but there's just some lines I'm not willing to cross. Last but not least, we need a dressing. Let's do red wine vinegar and olive oil dressing for this brainy salad. Red wine vinegar contains a powerful polyphenol antioxidant called resveratrol. It also contains antioxidant pigments called anthocyanins, which boosts memory, language, and problem-solving function in both healthy and cognitively impaired brains. So I'll just drizzle a little bit over there. We're pairing our red wine vinegar with some olive oil because olive oil contains antioxidants called polyphenols that directly protect our neurons. Olive oil also protects our brain and spine by mitigating inflammatory central nervous system diseases like multiple sclerosis through the gut-brain axis. Extra virgin olive oil specifically lowers the risk of stroke, so extra points if you have that in the pantry. And I'll just drizzle a little bit of that over as well. Now we have our delicious and jam-packed salad that's gonna make me and my brain feel and look great. It's super important to be aware of what you're putting in your body because you're feeding every part and every single organ. And even if you have a fast metabolism and can handle fried food and ice cream for dinner, I'll be the first to tell you that one day it might catch up to you, and not in all the ways you'd expect. Your brain is arguably the most important machine, so fuel it upright for a longer and a better life. I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe learned a thing or two. If you did, I'd appreciate you sharing it with a friend. Maybe you know someone who needs to hear this. Also, I'd love to hear from you. You can contact me with comments or questions via the Brain to Mind Substack. Now, I'm going to go enjoy my delicious salad. Thank you.